how narcissists end up single and living alone. During their younger years, the narcissist once had everything at their convenience. Everything was instantly available at their command. People were willing to do whatever they wanted immediately without hesitating. But then they get older until they are unable to find supply. They end up being single and living alone. They end up in a tiny studio apartment with their cat or dog. When they were younger, they may have been very attractive people. They may have had qualities or features that aroused people's interest. But as they get older, it fades away. It gradually disappears. Until they end up single and living alone. When they once had so many sources of supply. So many people give them attention and admiration. People who wanted to be with them. People who wanted to marry them and have children with them. People who took them on trips around the world. People who bought them cars and clothes. People who would literally give them their credit card and let them buy whatever they want. So how could they possibly end up single and living alone when they had all of those opportunities? The reason why this happens is because they never saw any of them as real people. They were just sources of supply. They were just objects that the narcissist used to feel good about themselves. And once they had used them up, they threw them away. Narcissists are also always look for something they think is better. They see the grass as being greener on the other side. And they have no empathy for the people they discard and the lives they ruin. It's like a child who gets a shiny new toy. They quickly forget about all of their old toys. Even though the narcissist had an unlimited su supply of attention and admiration when they were younger. People who were wealthy. People who were doctors or lawyers. Celebrities. People who wanted to marry them. People who would have given them anything they ever could have asked for. They still think they're going to find something better. They still think the grass is greener on the other side. So they discard whoever they're with. Like they never existed. And then they jump onto the other side. Thinking that they found a better deal. They leave whoever they're with, which could be someone they've been with for five or ten years. Because they found a shiny new toy. They think they found a better deal. They can't stay in the relationship with this person who offers them the world. This person who loves them unconditionally. It's still not enough for them. They still think the grass is greener on the other side. 
when they see the newest toy, they've got to have it. They end up having sex with all of these people while they're young. They don't care about who they're hurting. They think they're having the time of their lives. But then they're in their 30s and 40s. And they find that they're no longer getting the same amount of attention as they once did. Until they're finally in their 50s and they realise no one's really paying attention to them. No one's really interested in them anymore. They don't have the power that they had before. They might try to go back and attract the same level of people. But it just makes them realise that they can't get them anymore. Or they can't keep them around. They might just come around for sex once in a while. But they're not going to be interested in marriage. They're not going to be interested in having children. They're not going to want to live together or buy the narcissist cars or clothes. They're not going to be offering that anymore. Because the narcissist is all used up now. Everyone's had their turn. And those people, if they're good people, are not going to be interested in someone who has been around the block that many times. They're not going to want someone who has just used people up and tossed them aside. Someone who has just taken good people for granted. The narcissist should have cashed in their chips when they had the chance. They should have stayed with one of their past sources of supply. But they consciously chose to discard them. Because they thought they weren't good enough. When really, the narcissist just wasn't grateful. They didn't appreciate anything their sources did for them. Which is why they just have one failed relationship after another. Nothing ever lasts. Because they always think the grass is greener on the other side. Even if the person they're with is attractive and has a good job. Even if they treat the narcissist right. Because they're addicted to attention. And they will chase after it from anyone who is willing to give it to them. Until the relationship is ruined. And this is just something that they repeat again and again. Through their 20s and 30s. Until they end up single and alone. The narcissist might catch some attention occasionally. But they're not really sources of supply. They just end up attracting people who use them for sex. People who, end, people who sleep with them and then disappear. People who don't want anything more. But when these narcissists age, they will use these people as confirmation that they're still attractive. That they can still attract good people. When the narcissist is just being manipulated, they're just being used for sex. Which is why none of these people ever stick around. They never want to marry the narcissist or have children with them. And anyone that does, it's probably because they have their own issues. Maybe they don't have any other options. Maybe they can't find anyone else. Maybe they think the narcissist is the best that they can get. The narcissist is not going to be able to attract the same level of people as they did 10 or 15 years ago. Because only someone who is low value would want to marry someone who has been around the block that many times. Someone who chews people up and spits them out. Someone who has ruthlessly discarded their sources of supply. 
but the narcissist uses whatever they can find as a confirmation that they're still attractive. Even though they're just being used for sex. They're not going to marry the narcissist or have children with them. Unless it's someone with no purpose of their own. Someone who just wants the narcissist to pay for everything. The narcissist ends up single and living alone. Because they spent their entire lives always looking for something better. Always thinking the grass was greener on the other side. Even if they were with someone for 5 or 10 years, they always had this curiosity to get involved with someone else. It's just one failed relationship after another where they take people for granted until they finally end up alone living in a studio apartment with their cat or dog and they will act like it doesn't bother them. They will act like it doesn't hurt them. While the source of supply that they discarded is out there killing it, being successful, being the best version of themselves, living their best life, while the narcissist is stuck at home alone, left with nothing but the memories they had with you. When they took you for granted. When they acted like you weren't good enough. They ended up losing the best thing that could have ever happened to them. Because they thought the grass was greener on the other side. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. Check out the new Narc Survivor website at www.narcsurvivor.co.uk where you can read my blog posts, book coaching sessions and join a support forum. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.